Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of Where Are They Now? I'm Ajima, as you know, and this episode we are going to be talking about the boy group 24K. Now, I'm going to give you like a little disclaimer because I do not know much about 24K even with the uh, information that I got online, there still really isn't that much about them. So I have some notes. So if you see my eyes kind of droop down, it's not because I'm falling asleep. It's because I'm reading my notes. Okay, so here we go. 24K debuted back in 2012 under the Choan Choan Entertainment. Originally, there were four members: Corey, Sungo, Kisu, and Sokjun. And as I said, they debuted 2012 with the song Rockin' Girl. Here it's kind of a laid-back um, acoustic style type song they're like a ballad group so after those four members debuted they released two more songs uh, bye 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 and moonlight sonata and then they kind of went away for a while and reformatted added two members byung ho and dae il and came back with this more hard hitting, um, there was a lot of dubstep. They really, really worked on their choreography, and they came back with like this harder sound. They, their comeback song or their re-debut was Paliwa, which actually I, I remember hearing when they debuted and it was kind of interesting. I enjoyed it. They debuted after they debuted Paliwa, they kind of went quiet, didn't do as well in 2012 as they wanted to, or as I'm sure they hoped that they were going to do. They weren't a terrible group, but they just kind of got clumped in with all the other all the other idol groups that debuted back in 2012 because there was a crap ton of them. Uh, 2013 came and they didn't really release anything other than um, maybe one or two more songs. They did do like a crap ton of behind the scenes. They did a lot of um, dance covers. A few other members would do um, like songs, releases, but it was just covers of songs or you could see their choreography that they made for uh, other songs, like American songs or other idol songs. And they actually had a short reality show called 24k in China it might have been about three or four episodes if that the last MV or the last upload that I noticed that I was able to find from their official YouTube was just them saying Merry Christmas to all their fans you know thank you so much for sticking with us these few years and look forward to the future but as far as what they're going to be doing, I'm not sure, and I can't seem to find anything on it. I mean, uh, Chon Entertainment doesn't even have a website. There's a Facebook, there's a YouTube, and there are Twitters for everybody, but no official website where you can go and say, oh, okay, well, this is you know what's going on with the group, 24K. 
Now, the reason why I'm bringing up 24K, why I chose them to be my first male group as far as the Where Are They Now series, is because recently, like within the past week, there was a, a story released that Byung Ho actually is not only married, but is a father. Um, you don't really know anything about the child, but the general story was that he debuted with the group, say, September of 2012, and then by November of 2012, he was already married and the child had been born. But he kept all of that from uh, his bandmates, his uh, entertainment label, and the fans. Now, the fans I get, but whether or not he actually kept it from his label mates and, and uh, his company, I really don't see how that is possible given how close they are with the idols and you know the people that are trying to debut. I mean, managers and whatnot are in your life so much that it really seems impossible to keep something as big as oh, a marriage and, and a child. It just really doesn't make sense to me. But I do understand that the reason why he wanted to keep it from, you know, the public life, from his from his fans and whatnot, because sometimes fans be crazy. So, um, so far so good as far as the backlash. There wasn't really any negative comments that I've seen about it. As a matter of fact, not too many people are talking about this story. And I wonder if it's because they weren't so well known, you know, even though they've been around for about two years now, they really aren't that well known. So it could be that, or maybe people are just finally realizing that idols are real people too. So we'll have to see. Now, what does that mean as far as them actually coming back with more music? Unfortunately, the way I see it, if they do come back as 24K, Young Ho probably won't be a part of that simply because it's not a good look for an idol, unfortunately, to be married with children. Um, unless he, re, you know, redoes it so that he's a solo artist, maybe catering to the older crowd. But I believe he was, like, born in 1990, so he's still kind of young, which means that he could still... He could still promote himself towards the younger crowd, if that makes sense. So I guess we'll have to see. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because I think that they're a pretty good group. I mean, being able to revamp yourself from, you know, an, a ballad style, acoustic uh, type of group to something like how they were in Paliwa, I think that takes talent and a lot of hard work. So like I said, hopefully they'll be able to come back in 2015 with a new sound or continue the sound that they have and just have some fresh music for us so here's to you 24k i hope that we will be seeing you soon and that is it for this episode of where are they now please 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 let me know if you like it thumbs it up and hit me up on twitter i'll leave all my information in the links down below let me know who you want to see in the where are they now series okay talk to you next time bye